Hey guys, I wanted to give you some good news if you have never heard the good news. And that is that God sent his one and only son to pay the price for our sin and to make us acceptable to him. If we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus died for us, we are saved. Now, that salvation means that all is forgiven. In the Old Testament, they had to sacrifice animals. They had to do it once a year to pay a price for their sins. But the difference with the death of Jesus is that those sins were covered up. It said that Jesus came to take away our sin. Now, taking away mean, means it's all gone. You didn't do anything to receive this righteousness. You didn't have to work for it. You didn't have to clean yourself up. And you can't sin enough to lose it. It is a free gift. All sin paid. If we look in Romans 5.1, uh, it says that uh, through this act, we have peace with God. That means that uh, he's on our side. He's no longer against us. He is for us and not against us. The word salvation doesn't just mean eternal life salvation, although that is a big part of it. The word salvation, if you look in uh, Thayer or Vines, the word salvation means health, healing, wholeness, prosperity, preservation, protection, soundness it means everything that we need in this world our god is the great giver and he just wants us to ask him if you have problems ask him if you have sickness ask him if you have needs ask him he is the great giver so don't be stressed be at rest. Jesus came to give us rest. When he met with the disciples in the upper room, he said, peace, and breathed on them. Now that's in this world. In the next world, the Bible says, I have not seen nor ear heard the things which God has prepared for those that love him. By accepting Jesus death for our sins we become uh, we become heirs of Abraham now there's another verse that says that uh, the heirs of Abraham will inherit the world but that word world is not actually uh, world it's actually cosmos so it's it's talking the expanse of the universe so we don't really know the expanse of the things that God has prepared for us then. Also, part of that word salvation that we have not received is our glorified body. The Bible calls this body that we're in our vile body, but we will receive a glorified body uh, when the trumpet sounds. So don't let anyone tell you that you have to perform to get any of this it's the free gift when jesus died and went to heaven what did he do he sat down at the right hand of god his work was his work was finished he had done everything that god had for him to do and the bible says that we are seated with him in heavenly places and when God looks at us, he sees him. If we had a, a fight with someone, God sees his perfectness. If we blew our horn at somebody and yelled at him, God sees his perfectness. So God, if you have done this, you're at peace with God. Now, uh, there's a place where it says uh, 
well, there's places where it says to repent. That word repent means to change the way we're thinking, to know God is for us and not against us. So in watching this video, you have repented because you now know God is for you and not against you. Um, I'm going to put some links below to some more videos because it, it's good that you know this right now and you're hanging on to this salvation that you've received and everything that God provides for you in this world through the word salvation. But there are people who will try and take it away from you and tell you that you have to work. And so I'm going to put some links to some videos below to strengthen you in your in this walk of grace. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.